happening. But it's it's um, not so important that you do the the exact ones or particular orders that I speak about. Now, here's one. It's called making. Uh, they say three colors appear like four. What they mean is these are my two grounds in this case, right? And let me find, I lost one of my figures, so let me just cut a new patch out for you. And there we go. So this is our, this is our figure. And we'll take two colors that are from that figure. Now this might be very hard to see on the camera, but basically at home you'll try this. This is a rusty color, not so red. It appears more red in the camera. You want something with a little bit of orange in it, a little bit dull. This is a green, obviously. It's dull and it's kind of sagey. And if we look at this here, it's a brown. What this color is, is a mixture of these two colors. So you want something that feels like this color mixed together. And now if you look at our two figures, and there's our centerpiece to stare at, you'll notice that this one starts to look like this color, right? This figure looks like this, and this figure looks like this. So what they're saying is there's three physical colors here. One, two, three. But they start to look more like one, one, and two, right? So they start to look more like just two colors. It's three colors appearing to be two, okay? That's kind of cool, and I expect you to have fun trying to find that set. This is a sneaky little thing I'm going to do. I have to set it up for a second. Give me just a second while I set it up over here without you seeing anything. And then when I bring it out here, you'll notice here I have three colors. One, two, three, and four. I'm sorry. I have four colors. One, two, three, and four. And this one appears a little pinky here. This one appears a little green. So what's happening is this strip that's in here actually is one color. Okay, it's, it's, it's one piece of paper. And what's happening is something they refer to as reversed grounds. One color is appearing like two, or more strictly speaking, one, two, and three colors are appearing more like, more like two, because it's considered reversed ground. This color is starting to look like this, this color is starting to look like this. Okay, the more I tweak the background, the more it will start to appear like it's it's more of an opposite ground, like you had in the last example, okay? This is just another example of kind of that reverse ground situation. And then I want to move on to this last one, which is one of the hardest ones to do. You'll have to practice this at home and see what you come up with. I have full faith you'll come up with some crazy stuff. What I'm going to do is take these two colors, okay? this is much greener in reality. It feels a little more, uh, like has more yellow in it. Looks a little gray on the camera. And this is more pinky. Looks kind of purple on the camera. So it's kind of a pink and a green. The, the one's darker, one's lighter. Not significantly. They're both a little dull. They're not super bright, you know? So now what we're gonna do is take those two colors and what I've done is cut out little patches of, uh, from them. Let me just pick out the patches, you see? So what I'm going to do is show you that patch, that patch sort of slide off so you believe me that it's the same color, Shoop, right? And this one I'm going to take here and I'm going to slide it off onto that one. And then we're going to hide these two for a moment. I'm going to turn them over, hide them to the side, and look at these two. And let's look at the, just in case you're wondering, my nails are filled with paint right now. I've got all sorts of dirt in my nails because I've been teaching the last few days like crazy. Um, what you're seeing is what we call two colors looking like one. You've got two figures, but they start to look like the same color. If you look in between here, you'll notice that they look very similar. Now what I'm going to do is switch them so whoop, like that, and I'm going to take this and put it over here and look how different they appear, right? One's very green and one's very purpley. When I switch them back, you get something like this. This is called two colors looking like one, 
or you'll hear people say four colors because it's actually one, two, three, four, looking like three. Uh, it's your decision how you refer to them. What's important for you to know is that you're using this all the time when you actually design things. The entire theory of relativity is constantly at play in your design process because colors appear differently than you actually think they are. You'll say you put an orange into something and it turns sort of greenish. What would that mean? How do I get rid of that green? I put more green in the background, right? Or I could take my orange away from being what appears orangish, which might be the red showing up in it, that I would maybe put a little green in it to dull it down. You know, I can play around with what it means to make that color appear the way that I want it to appear. Thanks so much for listening. I hope this was helpful. Uh, when you do your pairs, there'll be something like this, a large ground, a small figure. You'll do ones, um, you'll do a set for value. You'll do a set for hue. You'll do a set for chroma, and you've been taken through all of these already, but I'm doing them again. You'll do a set for chroma, a little bright and dull. And then you'll do some sets where you make, you make one color, you make one color look like two. So you remember this? One color look like two. And then you'll make two colors look like one. These are those two colors, right? Hard to believe, huh? Have fun. I enjoyed this, and I can't wait to see your homework. You also have a culture assignment this week, which is more written and uh, visual, and I'll get you some examples of those, and I hope you're well. Bye.